Well, over 3,400 teams from around the globe will be competing against each other for the title of First Robotics World Champions. 17 of those teams met in Nevis this weekend to learn more about just what the competition will hold. Mel Meyer reports. Let's bring it down the back hallway. Teams will need to build a robot that can gather and throw balls, climb a rope, and place gears on a peg to gather points. This is our first year, so we're kind of new at this, but we made a few friends, so we're excited to do it. During this weekend's kickoff event, teams were able to learn about the coding and 3D printing needed to build their robots. Hannah Newberry says she wanted to join because her friends were doing it. When I heard more about it, I was like, well, that's going to help me in the future, and I'll be able to learn a lot. This is Martin Raines' third year on the Cass Lake Bina Regulators team. He says this is helping him towards his goal of being a bioengineer. I love robotics because it's introducing technology to younger kids, and that's what we really need is to have more people inspired into this. It's this approach that the Nevis school staff have embraced. Starting in fourth grade, students are introduced to Lego robots. As we see these kids march through, it's a natural fit for them to join the high school after school program. The Techno Tigers have 33 students on the team this year. They're always looking to connect with the community by bringing out their bots or teaching elementary students how to code. And so it's a big thing is outreach and so these kids see what we do and they say I want to be part of that. Perhaps the same following is in store for Pequot Lakes which took the Rookie All-Star Award at the 2016 Lake Superior Regional. At first it was kind of like oh these guys are nerds but now they realize how cool we are because when we were showing off a robot at Pep Fest and stuff last year at the school. The teams will now begin to build their robots which will be used in competition in March. March. In Nevis, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If any of the Minnesota teams qualify for the World Championship, they'll be headed down to Houston, Texas, or St. Louis, Missouri in April. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.